Welcome to Fix Your Dermis. We're gonna fix tattoos, whether they need them or not. Today's tattoo is inspired by The Lion King. As you can see, it's a simple black and gray watercolor style tattoo. Lion King, more like Loing's Cream. Get it? Because I, I did that, I did that tattoo. Didn't need fixed, it's perfect the way it is. Alrighty then. Well, like all my processes, I like to start with an idea phase. Do some sketches. Uh, let's try giving Simba's dad a body. Mmm, looking good there, huh? And done. Roadkill. I, uh, I've never seen a dead road before. I don't appreciate booing. Well, just, let's try adding a little, little crown on the side. Some family-friendly candy cigarette in its mouth, and boom, improved. Uh, for the next sketch, boom, roasted. roasted turkey. Delicious turkey, tiny plate. Well, this tattoo is uh, pretty dark, so I thought I'd create a focal point here, a focal point here. Curve it, bring the eye down here to lead down the arm, and we have a provocative fruit. Simply <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you know, if I was actually gonna cover this up, how about this? Uh, well, we'll go with an anime girl. Everyone likes anime girls, right? Kawaii. Women, children, the pet dog. We can cut the letters up with some big old boobies. And, uh, what else? We, uh, anime girl needs big old hips. Can't forget about the hips. Uh, we can give her some nice shoes. Anime girls like nice shoes. And, uh, we'll make her magical as well. All anime girls are magical. And, uh, since she goes to school, we can't forget the uniform. But I know what you all are thinking. How do you draw so well, my friend? Well, just abandon all expectations. And you, too, can draw tattoos as well as this. With the restrictions of the arm, I'm thinking I could probably cover up something stubby. Maybe a, uh, maybe an Animal Crossing character. Maybe a provocative anime character. Maybe a provocative Animal Crossing character that is Anka. <laughs> Not that Anka. That's dirty. On this channel, we shame furries. And even though Garfield, I mean Anka, Yellow wouldn't actually cover this, so I'll probably scrap that and go on to uh, try some other ideas. Um, this next one, I was actually doodling this WNS. I, I, I got this, like, blue Power Rangers toy. Yeah, from, like, uh, full focus. Let me hide behind the camera. Yeah. Um, I was trying to sketch him out. But, uh... Eh, it was looking like duty. And, uh, you know... Of course, you can also do the other uh, the other route, the uh, likable design, the standard bro tattoo. You know, add a rose, a rose because like I'm classical, like a classical gentleman, and I'm gonna add like a pocket watch because time is fleeting and I only have so many seconds in the day to get my like muscles on, and you know I also am like a predator. Not that kind of predator, but a predator out in the woods, so I need a forest. And I also like to do outdoor things, so I also need, like, a cabin. Can we look at my childhood home, but make it a cabin? <laughs> I hate how this would actually work. On top of that, I've actually done, like, like a dozen tattoos similar to this. Nothing wrong with it. I just, I just prefer uh, poor ideas. Uh, so, so far on the channel, we have ideas like Anka and Chubby Sailor Moon. Originality. Alright. Then we can, I don't know, I was doodling this chicken with, like, some sunglasses and stuff. But it didn't really change the design a whole lot. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, let, let me uh, let me try drawing it as a Robo Mufasa. Get to the chopper! He's like flying down, trying to keep like the uh, what do you call it? 
like <laughs> the robo hyenas from the future to take over the pride land because they have to destroy the promised sun so uh, they can take over. Actually, uh, the outcome is pretty similar too uh, if you compare the two. Hmm. I'm a great screenwriter. Now we're to the point where we're going to choose a winner. So first up, we have Dead Mufasa. Second, Snoop Lion. Third, Roasted Turkey. Four, Chubby Sailor Moon. Five, Garfield. Six, Power Ranger. And seven, Robo Mufasa. I think, uh, I think I'm going to go with Anka. Get, stop playing that music. I do not find that small, short, thick girl attractive. I prefer them giants, you know, like, like Xena. All right, so now once I got my sketch done, I'm going to shrink this thing down and start lining it up with the old tattoo so I have like a, like a rough idea. Um, because she's yellow, I'm probably going to just make it black and gray. Use opaque inks if I was gonna actually do this. And I would try to match the tones the same or darker. So it's not as a, uh, you know, reads better. Put a penis snake on the head crown. Give her a little kitty cat neck. And she likes being choked. Pervert. What do you call a mummy covered in chocolate nuts? <laughs> Anka. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, it's Fair Rocher. Uh... Have you heard about... <laughs> Have you heard about Pharaoh's new chef? His name is Gordon Ramsay's. Uh... That's good, like that. Ah! Uh... Anyway, I have no idea if this cover up would actually work. Uh... Um, I think I'm gonna go for a film noir look. I pulled up a reference here. Um... If you match like sort of dark shadow, like, like like a one light source, it gives me more to play with. Especially if you hit it from the top angle, I can do the lighter tones up in the forehead, nose, lip, you know, uh, the right side of her. And hopefully with the letters, I can use them as textures uh, for the clothes. It's a gassy ass coffee. So now that you're using a detective look. Oh, it's a cute little willy snake. I should have gave it uh, one eye. Ha! <laughs> I should have used the uh, the word never across her face as a tattoo. Be good. Maybe like no sleep on the eyebrows. This ain't face tattoos as uh, what's his fuck face? <coughs> oh shit! I don't know. The rapper who has all the shitty face tattoos. Yeah, that one. Anyway, okay, well, I forgot her toes on the foot. Oops. But, uh, you know, it was a speed pink, so, uh, <coughs> off. All right, last part is uh, spotting the blacks and done. Next, I think we're going to see how many Bellaboo points this tattoo is worth. That, uh, that's my award ceremony dance. You're welcome. I won't even charge you for that. <gasps> Welcome to the award ceremony. Here we have the before and after. We went from a dead corpse to a corpse queen. It sounded funnier in my head. Yeah. Anyway, I would say I would award this particular design, since it covers up mostly, in my show through a little bit, probably take a couple sessions. Realistically, I'm going to give this uh, four to five, four out of five Bella Boo points. Boop, 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 boop. Ain't she cute, my ugly <coughs> ass one-eyed cat? Mm. Hey, thanks for watching. If you have any tattoos and need improved, please uh, email them over to kingyodlertattoos at gmail. You can also uh, send your ideas over to my Twitter handle, kingyodler. Or even Instagram, King Yoda Tattoos. And, like always, please like and subscribe. Smash all the buttons. And I'll see you next time. Bye.